Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Linux DPIN on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So you can see I am currently running OpenSUSE, you can run Mac OS, Windows and many other operating systems virtually on your host computer. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox so head to your Chrome browser or any other browser you use. Now search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on it. And by the left, click on download. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows host, which is Windows machine. This is for Mac OS, this is for Linux and many other operating systems. So let's click on Windows host and it should download VirtualBox for Windows. Now I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now the next thing you have to download is Deepin Linux ISO file. So open a new tab and then search for Deepin Linux. Now you can see the first page over here which heads to deepin.org. Click on it. Now click on download and help up here. You can see download and help. And then you can see ISO download. So just click on it. Now you can see Deepin 20.7 and you can see version 23 alpha. So what we are using for this installation is Deepin 20.7. Now click on download over here. You can see the size is 3.29 gig. So click on start download and it should start downloading. I already have this downloaded, so I'm just gonna cancel it. So after downloading the ISO file and installing VirtualBox, you can close the browser and then open your download folder. So this is Deepin Linux ISO file we downloaded earlier. Now open your VirtualBox and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new up here. Now let's call this machine Deepin. Now set the type to Linux and then set the version to Debian 64 bits you can see over here. And then click on next. Now set the base memory which is the RAM. Now I'm going to give this about 5 GB of RAM since I am running 16 GB on my PC. Now take note you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM or processor to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. So I'm giving it 3 processors on my PC since I can run up to 8. So make sure you don't give too much resources that you won't have enough for your host computer. Now click on next and then set the virtual hard disk or the storage you want to allocate to this machine. But I'm going to give this about 50 gigabytes and then we are good. And then click on next and then click on finish. So you can see the details of our newly created virtual machine, but we have to make few changes to this. So we'll click on settings up here. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Enable 3D acceleration down here. Now go to storage. We have to add the ISO file we downloaded. So we'll click on the empty disk icon over here and then click on disk icon by the right. Click on choose the disk file and then select deep in desktop community, which we downloaded earlier. Select it and then open. Click on OK. So once we click on start, it should initiate the installation. So let's click on start. Now hit enter. Now select a language for the installation. So I'm going to select English. Agree to the terms and then click on next. Next. And then you can see the storage we are located to deep in over here. So just click on it. Now you can see we need at least 64 gig to install deep in, but mistakenly I said 50 gig before now. So I'm going to close this installation wizard and I'm going to reallocate new disks. Now select your language for installation. Agree to the terms. Next. Next. Now select the disks. Now anything less than 65 gig won't work as we saw earlier. So this is the disk allocated which is 76 gig and then click on next. Now this is a guided setup so it is going to create new partitions on this drive and run everything without us doing anything. Now I'm going to untick this since I don't really need a backup for this OS but if you enable this it is going to take longer. So I'm just going to untick it and continue and it will start partitioning the drive and initiating the installation. Now this may take some time but you just have to wait patiently.
and we are done with the installation this didn't really take up to 10 minutes now I'll click on reboot now so you can see we are getting an option to install dpin again now this is because of the installation media which is still connected so now let's close dpin over here just power off your machine and then open virtual box go to settings over here go to storage and then over here you can see the installation media so right click on it and then remove attachment remove ok and then let's click on start again now select the language this is not installing this is just a setup wizard to set up your preferences based on what you want so set your language continue set your keyboard layout as well and then next select your time zone i'm just you can use the list if you can't really get your exact location with the map so let's just okay continue now set a username which you're going to use to access your machine you can create an avatar also set a password and then click on next this will take a couple of minutes and here we go guys so just log in with your password let's go with the normal mode so basically this is how to install and set up dpin on your windows machine with the upper virtual box now this is actually the same method even if you're running it on a mac os machine now you can see the resolution is not really looking great we can't view this in full screen mode so to change the resolution just right click let's go to display settings and then scroll down you can see resolution over here so just pick the resolution of your pc and then save if it doesn't really match just confirm your pc resolution and then apply that same resolution to deep in and everything should be fine if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one